Hello YouTube, this is going to be a bit of a long video, and once again, sorry for the low quality. Uh, I try my best to make this shit banging for you, but it's it's hard. I have a shitty computer, I'm trying to upgrade it. But, uh, just so you know, I got 90 farming. But also, sadly, I misclicked, got two wood cutting, and ruined my farming pure. But you know what, I said, I can still be a farming pure if I just don't get any other 99s. But that, that's not going to last either, you know. But uh, I got the five crafting because I thought, hey, maybe this farming mini game's worth it. And you know what? It's actually pretty amazing. Um, now, how to get to the farming mini game? You have to be uh, unlock the one house. I can't pronounce it because it's an H. Uh, people say I, I look online. I just see people saying, oh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, it's it's a bit annoying. Uh, you plow fields from one from zero to five percent and zero to five percent it gets you five crafting from level one also it's not that much experience it's only like probably 200 experience and then five percent to a hundred percent the best thing to do is uh make a sulfur uh sulfur ash saltpeter fertilizer it's 1900 but uh here i'm showing you that this is how you do it. You plant and then you water it and you go in a circle. Now, you have an option to use fertilizer. Don't use the fertilizer. As you see in this video, I myself only go up to 10 uh, plants. That's because I have one agility. I can't run. I've seen people do 16 plants. I've seen people, I've heard people talk about doing 20, but uh, it's really good. I mean, you can use the fertilizer. Like for me, I do 10 twice in a row and then I do sets of eight. And then I'll have like a two. And then if you want to grow two real quick before you do two more sets of ten when your run energy heals, use the fertilizer because the fruit will grow a lot quicker. Now it's really simple. You just plant them, you plant it, you water it, and then you move around, you do your ten like I did, and then every single time you have to water it. So you have to have these watering cans. And uh now, when you harvest these fruit, it's only 2,300. So for 100 seeds, you'll only get 2,300 experience. But once you put all 100, or at least, set, I don't know how many you get for 75, but I know for, for doing 75, you get bonus experience. So you want to have at least 75 with you when you go determine to that sack right there. Now, the thing with the fruit is, is that once you do like when I do a hundred, I do I try to do a hundred all at once. Uh, you get thirty four k experience drop. Now you're seeing me do this right here, and this is just basically what it is. You're just going into a circle, running. I can do ten. I can do two of these in a row, and uh, yeah. So my opinion is watching this. As you can see, there's another guy up there doing it. I actually, when I first started, I watched a video. There's very few guides on how to do this mini game, And the guy who was doing it was saying, oh, you water the first plant, and then you fertilize it, and then you go the next. And that's how you do 16 in a row. And I tried to do that. Even at 100 run energy, by the time I was getting down the second aisle, uh, two of my fruits were becoming blighted and dying. And blighted is kind of like disease. As you can see here, I'm refilling my water cans. I have 10. Well, actually, I have 12. I had 10, but I bought two more to make my inventory look a little bit nicer for this video. I only use three because after I water that first floor, I refill my water cans real quick while I'm waiting for. So, you know, that's how it's going. But uh, now the reward for this is uh, it's a water can. I think it could be much better. I think they could do more with it. But, uh, you know, what it is is uh, 1,000 charges. Like, so you, but you can only refill it here in the minigame. Like, you can't use it. You can use it outside the minigame, but you can only refill it inside the water game, the minigame. How it makes that. Uh, I think you have to use points to recharge it. I'm not sure. I don't know much about it. But as you can see with the fruit that I'm picking, I'm getting 23 experience. I know you can't see it too well because the screen's a little blurry. And I'm really trying with what I got. I have to upgrade my processor, my RAM, which I, I plan on doing, you know. But hey, you know, more subs equals more money equals better videos. I mean, picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, 
so after I get these last two, I'm gonna cut, and uh, I'm gonna go to after I have most of my stuff grown. So right about I don't know here, maybe no to the cut. Ah. <sighs> So, uh, what kind of movies are you guys into, you know, I really, uh, oh, oh, look, there we are. See, I have 80 and I got my last 20, so I'm going to do my last time. Now, I'm going to show you in this video is how to, uh, how to keep it going, how I keep it going. I mean, I'm, I'm far from perfect, but in this video, you'll, this part of the video, you'll actually see, uh, those fruit above me, that guy planting, a couple of his will blight out because he's doing 16. Now, you can do 16, but I don't know if he's fertilizing them, like what I said before, it speeds them up, or if he just can't handle it. I would definitely recommend, for this minigame, having 75 plus agility. There's no real math behind that, it's just I recommend 75 agility, at least for anything, because it's just a core level of agility to have. I mean, you run a lot longer than at one agility, which I have on this character, which is why if you ever see me doing it in person, I'll be doing eight at a time. I only do, uh, like, I don't know, 50 of the fruit doing uh, running because I end up running out of energy, so I do the rest of them eight at a time. And uh, with this video, I just want to take a little time because you're watching this. I mean, this is technically part of my progress video. It is my walkthrough for this uh mini game and uh, if you haven't checked out the other ones I have uh, this guy was a farming period until I messed it up but uh, I'm not level 90 I only have 26 experience 26 K experience before I hit 91 you'll see at the end of this video which after I'm done making this I'm gonna go get so my last three progress videos for this guy they're gonna be special like this is the new mini game I can't pronounce the name of it but it's gonna be in the title of the video hopefully you guys will see it hopefully it'll help people out but uh, when I hit 95, that video is going to be special too. It's going to be how I do my elements, like the veggies, uh, the herbs, and the trees, and how I do the run. And then, of course, the last one's going to be 99, and that's just going to be my party. Now, uh, I don't know if it's right now when you see the stuff blight. It might be, but those, I think those two fruit, the blue fruit above me, I believe they die. Uh, I can't tell if he's doing... Oh, see that one right there in the corner? Uh, I think my arrow goes over it uh, after I water these two guys because I notice it. And I, if you can't tell, I'm not making the video. I don't make my voice servers while I'm playing the game. I make it, I'm watching it like you guys are watching it and just kind of talking along. That's why my voice is so angelic when you watch these long videos. But uh, yeah, sorry if you're looking for a guide. This is the best guide I can do. And I'm not doing this for like, oh, I need crazy views. Not, this is part of my progress videos which i've had a couple people in the clans these killers i'm in that watch so i mean this is just kind of something special for them but also let those people wondering is this farming thing worth it and it is because these 80 fruit that i already have i did in 30 minutes you can do so much more with more jody that's because i have to walk for 20 of those minutes you see how he lost the big the two big ones there he's doing too much he can't handle that many now look this is what you do you click and you have a click you plant water it and then you click to harvest the fruit not in front of it so while you're running over you have time to click on your fruit to plant to water it and then it's just like a quick transition let me see and that's how you keep doing now if you have i mean i guess you could use uh what do you call it uh energy pots if you wanted to i don't know how many energy pots it would take for per game but i know the bank's really far from here so a lot of people say it's not worth it i mean I only do 10 fruit at a time, so I only need really three watering cans. But I mean, if you're doing 16, maybe trying to push it up to 20, you might need more than that. So you might not be able to have that many run potions in the first place. But I definitely recommend Full Graceful for this, just to pick up your experience an hour. It's not a lot of experience an hour because it's an EXP drop every half hour. So it's chunk, like right now, I think I max out at like 72 experience, uh, 72k an hour if I did it non-stop back to back, which is uh, it's pretty good. Now, as you can see, my fruit are growing faster than I can plant, but it's easy just to do that. You just have to catch up with watering real quick, and I mean, you don't have to let the can water the whole entire thing. You just, as soon as you see the ground's wet, move on. I mean, just click and see like that, just, it's wet, it's watered. But uh, another thing's about to reward the watering can. Uh, 
I'm pretty upset with it. I wish they did more with it. Uh, they had so much opportunity. I hope it gets an update in the future. I don't even care about, like, it being unlimited or anything like that. My biggest thing is that I would love it to be equipable for, like, uh, skillers. And uh, maybe give it a cool animation, like a rainbow when, when you're watering the flowers. Because there is an animation, if you ever look at a watering can when you use it. Like, you see the water come out. I mean, for this... 200 points that means you have to do this 10 times put uh, put in 100 fruit 10 times for 200 points to get this can i mean it, it should have more to it now i know a lot of people are going to ask me about my uh me messing up my farming pier honestly i wasn't going to say nine, just 99 farming anyway i've always been wondering so i'll be t i'm going to start taking requests of what i could do and once again, I understand I'm talking back and forth, but you have to understand, I'm trying to cover 13 minutes here with a voice server, and it's just hard. There's not that much to this video, uh, this uh, mini game. I recommend watching Netflix. Uh, Netflix is a great investment for any RuneScape skill you do for an extended period of time. Um, like I said, for a half hour, it's 34k experience. Now, how I do, I do tree runs. I do the most expensive method for farming, so I do... 10 magics and four palms a day but my first run in the morning is five magics four palms that comes out somewhere to uh like 110k now if i did that and then did this and then did my second one that's 60k added to it that's pushed me up to over 200k farming experience an hour like just doing trees uh from 90 to 99 is 35 days that's how long this skill takes now, if I did two hours of this a day, just two hours of this a day, that's four times, that's a, what, three, six, nine, twelve, one hundred twenty 120K experience farming from this activity, I would, uh, you know, like I would get it in 20 days. So, I mean, there might be days where I devote a couple hours to this just because I want to close that gap. And when you're looking at it, the experience of how much work you have to do, it might not be for you. But if you're trying to get 99 farming or you're trying to close in a farming gap, I would definitely suggest this. I mean, there's other households out there that are better. Like the runecrafting one's supposed to be amazing because it's sort of like an AFK runecrafting. But uh, yeah, this mini game is definitely worth it if you want. You have to understand, like, farming's not a lot of experience and this is a really big boost to it uh, it's a consistent experience now as you see i drop my fruit i have like 54 k or something like that i can't read it drop it and then boom 34k experience drop you see there since you did 75 you got the bonus that means you can lose like 15 the first time i did this i lost a couple because i just try and do so much but uh you know, I hope you guys like my guide for this new mini game. I enjoy it. It's worth your time. I love it. I love you. Have a great day. And as